reggae was at home, you know. Our mothers and our father always played reggae at home, you know. So growing up, it was we couldn't escape listening to reggae or hearing reggae. Me personally, my my mother used to listen to Heptones a lot. Uh, after Heptones, Dennis Brown and Barris Hammond. Graham? Yeah, for me, I remember Toots. Mm. Toots was very strong. 54, 46, and <laughs> Pumps and Pride. Uh, it was that album when the original Toots and the was when Jerry was in the band. I'll never forget that. After that, we started to discover people like Frankie Paul, Admiral Bailey. I remember those two albums specifically. And then Steel Pulse, once we got into high school. Toots Animators was one of the first ones that I remember as a young child. First album I bought with a reggae album with my own money was uh, I think it was uh, Lucian and Where There's Life. I remember me and Grams had a copy of it and in our house we had our own room. So we'd get up in the morning and that would be the album we'd listen to and we'd sync our stereo systems together when playing the CD. To make it loud. <laughs> so we never forget that that and that was a very inspirational album for us, you know, it was like a few years before we decided to move to Jamaica. Uh, for me, I, the first reggae dance I'll see, the official reggae dance I was Shabarangs as raw as ever. The album there was Ground Beer Breaking, the first dance I'll artist to sell gold. And I remember that specifically when <laughs> Peter used to hear that in the morning. Chill out, chill out. Yeah, it was a Shake thing. all them pictures from a wall and all them things there. I say, yo, brethren, turn down the music. <laughs> In country, the loads. I remember going to uh, Bear, when Barry and Buju came to New York. Yes, yes. Paramount Theatre. It's called the Theatre now in Madison Square Garden, but at that time it was called the Paramount Theatre. That was a very memorable concert for us um, in New York City. Barry Salmon, uh, and Buju Bantan. They yeah, did perform together. They, uh, I think, uh, Barry's opened the show, I think. And Buju came on after yeah. And Buju said they performed together. And, you know, once they're on the same show, they're going to give you those hits together. Oh, I could live without yeah, you. Yeah. Lord, everything will be fine. There's nothing there about you. Yeah, that was one right there. Who said a big man don't cry? <laughs> Big tunes, you know. Oh, say that big man don't cry. You never miss the one to till you well run dry. Keep it on small world. Who do you think you are? Living in a small world. That's definitely one. Uh, uh, Damien Marley with Stephen Marley. Um, Jungle to Rima. Yeah. Uh, what else? What else? We play to keep the fire. Music out there, <laughs> a lot of music, and we're talking about reggae, not dancehall. Reggae. Well, we have to drop a sizzler in there for sure. Sizzler of Holy Patron will keep the dance going non stop, so definitely put in a sizzler in there. For me, uh, top three songs Junior Reed, One Blood, and the tune and mash up dance. Um, Dennis Brown, Loving Hate. I am leaving while I'm leaving to the father Yeah, them three you know mash up any dance. I'm a leaving while I'm leaving to the father I will pray. Only in no how we get Reggae is a music for upliftment of spirit. Mental upliftment, physical upliftment. It's a music that's inspiring, it's a music that's educational, it's a music that is invigorating. You know, there's always something in reggae that relates to everything that happens in life. So it's that life music. Reggae is life music to us. So, you know, it's a music that, that breathes life into life. You know, breathes life into life. Because you have some people have life, but they're not, you know. Reggae music is that thing. Never been to